Hello, church family. I hope you're doing well today as we gather to discuss spiritual practices and disciplines that can help enhance and deepen our faith, life, and connection to God. I'm going to be honest with you. This is now the fifth attempt that I have made in making this video. Um, been interrupted by phone calls and other situations that have arisen here in the church office. And to be honest with you, it goes exactly along with what I wanted to talk with you about today. Things that you should know about yourself um, that speak to a deeper issue within yourself. For instance, I know that I am not uh, in the healthiest, best place with God in connecting to God, and I haven't probably spent the amount of time I needed to in connecting with God when I get irritated. And I've been irritated this morning. <laughs> it happens. Typically when I get irritated, I, I'm short or curt with my family. I say things that not not always mean, just in a in a way that isn't always healthy. I, I'm also very critical when I'm not in the best of if if anxiety of the world is pressing down upon me, and I, and I haven't spent the time I needed to with God, and developing my faith uh, life and perspective the way I need to, uh, I get frustrated. I get irritated. The things that might would irritate me a little bit that I kind of let roll off my back become a bigger deal to me. The things that wouldn't really ever be an irritation to me become even a, a, a larger deal and, and really frustrate me. These are symptoms for me to something that's going on inside of me. My personality is not one of frustration or anger or being bitter or... Uh, being o overly critical of other people, um, that's not who I am. And I know that about myself. It's not my best self either. But the reason I often get that way is because I haven't done things in my life where, like I should. On long, hard days, uh, on days that were full with unexpected things that have caused more issues in your life that took away from places where you could have connected with God, um, circumstances arise. Uh, and next thing you know, you're reacting out of a place of uh, one of these symptoms. Like I said, for me, one of them is being irritable. Another one is I'm tired. Not so much tired like I want to sleep, but as if I have a lack of energy and focus to give to something. Those are a couple of my, my symptoms that I know are part of a larger issue within my, my heart and life. Um, during this past week, there was a lot of anxiety and anxiousness over the election and the election results. There's still some of that prevalent in our world today. There's anxiety and anxiousness and decisions needing to be made for the days and weeks to come. We're in the middle of a pandemic and that still weighs on me and many of you. There's health concerns in our lives of people we love or maybe even within our lives. There's situations that um, have, have pulled us away from other things. And, and we're like, I'd rather be doing that, but I have to do this. All of these things happen to us. And for me, when those things build up and a number of these things begin to happen, I have to be mindful of these things and have self-awareness to know that I don't need to react out of this place but rather I need to do some things to get myself in a better mindset. If I'm proactive about these things, these things don't happen as often. And to be honest, they are more rare, especially the, the deep place where I, I really get frustrated and am very critical and, and can be hurtful. But for me, one of the things I found out is there, well, actually, there's two things that I can do to kind of reel myself back in. One is, is kind of, uh, it's following the pattern of God when we've worked, 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 worked. On the seventh day, 
there's rest. I've got to take some time for myself to rest, to relax. And in those moments, I, I practice a couple of things. One is I practice some silence. I need to reconnect my mind, body, and soul with that of God. So I breathe, and I'm silent. I try to turn this thing off up here. Maybe I say some of those mantras we've talked about before, Lord, hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, calm my spirit. Repeat those things until we've turn some things off. And the other thing I do is I, I spend some time meditating on God's Word. Not just reading and studying God's Word, but meditating on God's Word. Finding a passage of Scripture or two that, that speak to me in these moments. The uh, Maybe Matthew 11, Come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Uh, something like that. that and meditate on that do Lectio Divina as I've said before um, my peace I give to you my peace I leave to you I do not give as the world gives let your hearts not be troubled do not be afraid as John 14 27 says meditating on these passages and asking yourself, what is God saying to me in the midst of them? I do palms up, palms down. Lord, fill me. Lord, here's my junk. Palms down, I'm releasing these things to you, O oh Lord. Here's my junk. And Lord, help me receive. See, in doing these practices, once I've recognized the symptoms, I lean into these practices, and it puts me in a better place. So that when the phone rings in the middle of this video for the fifth time, I don't pick up the phone and throw it across her. I, I don't do that anyways, but some of you might. So what are your symptoms? First, I want you to identify your symptoms. What is it? What are your triggers that you find out in your life? When I'm doing these things, when I'm feeling these things, it's because I'm not connected to God like I ought to be. So first, find your symptoms, your triggers. Be self-aware of those places. And then secondly, find the things that pull you away from there, that get you in a better mind and place with your relationship with God. It's so important. So today, my prayer for you is that you recognize your symptoms, your triggers, those things. What is going on inside? Are you irritable, frustrated? Or do you not have the energy you need? And oh, oh, that's those are minds. You're, you're you're may be different than me. And upon recognizing them, then find the things that you can do. Mine are meditation, silence, uh, taking, stepping back, and being by myself, and finding rest and Sabbath. Yours may be going on a run to, to meditate that way, or yours may be needing to spend time with your family to connect with your family and God that way. Your, yours may be a intense Bible study, not so much meditation, but study. You may need to talk to somebody and find guidance. Whatever your spiritual practice is to help you move away from the symptoms that are occurring to being a better, healthier place. Take those steps. Recognize your symptoms and know what spiritual practices pull you out of a place that you don't need to be. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for self-awareness and we thank you for spiritual practices that can pull us out of the funks of our lives. May we lean into them so that we can be healthier, more productive Christians in our world today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you until we see you again.